What a long way the former TV actress has come since she called Hancock Park home. Now her Californian starter home could be yours for a cool pound 1.5 million. The four-bedroom house Megan shared with her first husband, briefly, has gone up for sale. A 2,262-square-foot colonial-style property built in 1924, it has a stunning open-plan format with natural hardwood flooring throughout the downstairs, including in the large, eaten kitchen with its stainless steel appliances, marble countertops and gold trimmings. The sprawling ground floor boasts a bright family room, a quaint fireplace, elegant white moldings and high ceilings. All of the home's bedrooms are on the second floor, with two having ensuite bathrooms. Prospective buyers wanting to soak up the Californian sun can eat outdoors in the garden's al fresco dining spot. The shaded seating area gives way to a mid-sized garden with a second seating area in the sun, and palm trees overhead. The property includes a private garage at the end of a gated driveway for maximum security. It's clad in whitewashed timber boards with shutters on the upper floor and has a red brick chimney. Back when Megan Fleetingly lived there, she was making a living writing her now-defunct blog called The Tig and jobbing as an actress in a medical drama along with bit parts in Hollywood films. The year was 2011 and the future Duchess of Sussex was married to TV producer Trevor Ingelson after a relaxed beach wedding in Jamaica that September. The Duchess of Sussex, 38, met Trevor, 42, in 2004 when she was just starting out in her acting career. They moved to Hancock Park in 2011 while Meghan was looking for her big break. And it came three months before the couple had even tied the knot when Meghan landed the role of Rachel Zane in a new legal drama called Suits. In fact, it is fair to say that Trevor spent most of the time in the house without his new bride. When she landed the role in Suits, Meghan became a legitimate bona fide celebrity, says royal correspondent Ashley Pearson. Although Suits was set in New York, the majority of the filming took place in Toronto and Meghan moved from Hancock Park to the Canadian city just months after she married Trevor. This was the first time she would have had her name called out on a red carpet. This was the first time she would have been papped. So this was a big adjustment for her and it all happened away from home. Just 18 months later, in 2013, Meghan filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. According to Andrew Morton's 2018 biography Meghan, a Hollywood princess, her husband back in Hancock Park had no idea the marriage was in crisis. The Duchess reportedly dumped her boyfriend of nine years totally out of the blue and returned both her wedding and engagement rings in the post. One of Trevor's friends said the producer was left feeling like he was a piece of something stuck to the bottom of her shoe. Miss Pearson added, the problem with the marriage was the distance. As soon as they got married, she got the gig on suits and she was in Toronto and he was in LA. The relationship just didn't last. Desperate to keep a base on the West Coast after she'd made Toronto her primary residence, Meghan and her ex rented out Hancock Park before selling it on. It is while living in the Canadian city that she met Prince Harry on a blind date set up by a mutual friend. Meghan and Harry are said to be planning a royal tour of the United States when their baby, Archie, is old enough to travel.